Just a few months ago, Ion Formula Racing had died. We all thought that was it. Project Apex had just updated their game and they have reached an amazing 800 concurrent players. And then everybody lived happily ever after. But guess what? Ion Formula Racing is back. Wait, did I say Ion Formula Racing? Sorry, I meant Ion Apex Racing is back. And here's everything you need to know about the crazy event that just happened. For those who may or may not remember, when Ion Formula Racing declared itself dead, it also showed us a little hint of something that was being worked in the background. And here is the photo, which is really interesting to see. And this will be very important in this video. So after what seemed like forever, we are introduced by Kashmir himself, the GOAT, the one who practically owns this empire, I guess, Avenue Vance Empire. And he begins with saying that it's time to talk about the future of bro racing. And you know, a lot of us were excited when we heard that. But guys, make sure you watch to the end because this is crazy. I know, YouTuber moment. So the first thing we need to talk about is the new chassis. So while they were talking about uh, a bit about the history just to get uh, everybody caught up, even me, uh, there's some things I didn't even know. So it's a short history lesson. They introduced to us the new AC7 chassis. And trust me, this is sick. But before they talk more about the chassis, they show us the new cars that will be available in game. And there's many, many different types of classes you will see including uh you have a uh, formula one formula e nascar uh endurance there's literally so many cars you'll see i'm just going to show you everything here and honestly the models look phenomenal and i'm really really hyped up for this this is giving me gran turismo vibes right now i'm really hyped to see what will be available in the future all right, and with all the car classes out of the way, we finally get to see the new AC7 chassis in action. This is very weird to see, like, the wheels without the car, but this is, uh, like, you know, showing us the concept of how it works, and apparently this is their best chassis yet. It's quite bold to say that this will be the future of Roblox racing. As you can see, it does look pretty good. I'm not big of an expert, but from what we know, this will have amazing handling. It will be very good at absorbing the bumps and something that honestly is, is it's more of a their problem than an us problem but still apparently it's very easy to like uh, implement new cars into the system like all you have to do is put the specifications and it should work honestly i'll be honest as someone who doesn't get too much about these things i'm actually very excited to try it because it looks quite revolutionary but i'm pretty sure ro arthur will explain you that much much better than i could Basically, a lot of nerd work has gone into the AC7 chassis and making it much, much better. And honestly, I'm all for it. I can't wait to see what they have in it. But one thing that probably a lot of you noticed, but this is a detail that probably was ignored by others while he was talking about the AC7 chassis, is look at the track they're racing on. Look at the insane detail. Like... It's this game on uh, Apex Racing has had a massive glow up. I mean, it, technically it's a new game, but I kind of still, I don't know, I st it, it's kind of still close to me. But still, look how good the track looks. Look at the detail, the environment, even the, um, well, the braking signs like the 200, 150. It all looks really, really good. That's one thing I'm going to give it. So, like, for those who thought that they are going to use the old tracks, you are very wrong. And for those who may already be amazed, it's it's not over. No, no, it's not over. Keep watching, mate, because it gets crazier. They have made a revolutionary collision system. Let me repeat that. A collision system on Roblox. I'm a bit um, skeptical about this one. It's hard to say, like, Will there be lag in the games when there's more people? Or have they truly made a working collision system that uh, is not to the expense of your racing experience? And before we move on to the next part, as you can see, apparently different cars, obviously they have different weights, and uh, they handle differently uh, through the corners, they drift differently. So they have gone to that detail to make each car feel different to another car. 
Ion is also claiming that the tracks will practically be silky smooth because the handling can handle the slight bumps on the track. That's a very big claim to make. And if that's true, and as you can see from the gameplay, there's not really any bumps to see over there. This would be game changing for Ion and probably put it up there. This could be one of the biggest recoveries ever. And uh, the next thing they go on about is their new UI. And obviously, um, Iron Formula Racing has, I mean, Iron Apex Racing, uh, sorry, uh, has a history of not having the best UI, not really looking good. Well, they have made big claims that they have changed that. I mean, obviously, on screen, you can see there is uh, the new UI for the speed and stuff. Even the menu, a little bit, you know, some, it looks a little bit like Gran Turismo again, so I can see where some of the inspiration has come from. But honestly, I'm all for it. This looks really great. It's a massive improvement, and it's quite different to what I've seen in uh, other Roblox game. Maybe the process is closest being a Project Track Day, but as Cashmere says, we are different to those games. He said something like that, but <laughs> yeah. Alright, and the last part of the update, the most important part is the Ion Season 5, which I didn't fully understand. I don't know it's a, if it's like a running joke or something, but what is not a running joke is the new uh, Ion Hub as well. That thing that it was called but uh, as you can see basically it's just a place where developers and players <laughs> could talk to each other teams obviously they have their private rooms or when they're saying that maybe i guess but uh, they've got their private rooms where they could talk to each other you know plan for the next races uh, obviously the players they talk about their stats and stuff yes i am taking this from the original video but honestly, I like the idea. I won't lie to you. It's a pretty good idea. It's a, it's a nice way to connect the community together. Well, I guess there might be some toxic drivers as well. But it's definitely a good idea. Honestly, this is very, it's very different. Like, Ion really does strive to be different. And honestly, I'm all for it. And the last thing is the release date. When is this releasing, you say? Well, it's a, the demo, I believe, yes, is available next Friday at the time of recording for the hefty price, actually the small, small price of 2,500 Robux, or as he says, 2,500 Robux, but that's the same thing. That is a lot of Robux, and I'm not sure if I should buy it or that. I don't know, maybe maybe I'll buy it and then do some showcasing and stuff. We will have to see. But it will be available to the public at that price, and he does say eventually it will get cheaper, but with less um, benefits and stuff. But we will have to see that. And that's everything you need to know about um, Ion's crazy comeback story. And uh, obviously the link to this video will be in the description down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, do make sure to like and subscribe. Consider becoming a member or sending a super thanks. Thank you to Mushy and Reznal for being ultimate members. Goodbye.